Hey YouTube, I'm just doing a pre brief tutorial on how to enter FSS mode and start scanning bodies in the new Elite Dangerous patch. So we're going to jump to this next system and hopefully we have some planetary bodies. I know this has confused a lot of people. One of the big confusions is keybinds, so you're gonna have to set your keybinds up in your settings. But uh, I'll give you a little overview on how to use the tool. So once you're in a system, by default you're in combat mode when you log in, so you're gonna press M to switch to analysis mode. Once you're in the system, you're gonna honk like you would in previous patches. 28 bodies, okay, this is perfect. So you're gonna wanna give yourself a little bit of distance from the star and yourself, just because planets might hide behind the star and you can't uh, scan planets that are hiding behind the, the main star. So now that we have a little bit of a distance, you're gonna throttle down to zero and then you're gonna enter FSS mode using whatever you bind it to. So now that you're in FSS mode, you'll see some flashing little circles. You're going to see the plane, the default plane, and then you're going to see the star and maybe some belt clusters that you find as soon as you hop in. But you'll also see this ruler here at the bottom. It looks like a ruler. And this is your filtered spectral analysis. And you'll see these tiny little radio wave looking things. And these are your guiding lines of how to find planetary bodies. So as you can see here, it's already pointing me towards this area. Now, it shows a little broken uh, circle around the two planetary bodies, meaning it's not this type of gas giant. So we're gonna scroll to the right, a left a little bit, and then now they're filled, and you can now zoom in using whatever your zoom button is. Now, it brought me a little bit closer, but not quite there yet. And you can see the arrows pointing to where this gas giant is. So I'm gonna zoom in one more time. And there we go. So it gives you all the information of the planet. Then you could zoom back out. Now you can see a lot of these pulsing circles here. That means these are also planetary bodies or different types of bodies around this gas giant. So I'm going to go to the left on the filter spectral analysis and you can see the arrows getting more filled. So we're going to go to the right. There we go. And an icy body. And you basically follow the arrows and continue to tweak your filtered spectral analysis as you see fit. So it looks like we're good here. And looks like there was one more gas giant over here. And we got some more rocky and icy bodies. So you'll see on the top right hand corner where it says location scanning. If the planet is, if you're able to land on the planet, it'll start scanning for geological features. So this has 49 geological features on the planet surface. Uh, mostly water geysers, as you can see in the volcanism. So we're going to go back to that in a different video. But let's continue. to check these off our list. And you can see once a specific type of body is no longer hidden, that little radio wave type thing on the filter spectral analysis will disappear. So it looks like we have some more icy bodies hiding somewhere. Typically you want to just go around this line first, but occasionally things might not be where they seem to be. There we go. So we have another gas giant.
and some more icy bodies surrounding it. The great thing about this is it makes exploration a lot more streamlined. And if you don't really care about what's on the surface, you can just zoom in and out very quickly and you'll still get the full discovery without having to completely scan the body. Looks like we're good there. Nope, I think this is the last gas giant. And you'll see your completion rate on the left hand side to see if you're close to finishing the system as well. So we're at 92%. 95, 97 I'm guessing, and then this will be a uh, system scan complete. System scan complete. There we go. So just a brief recap, you use your filter spectral analysis ruler here at the bottom to try to find out what planetary bodies are around. In the far right hand corner it'll actually give you almost a preview of what's there. So Earth-like worlds will be around here, ammonia worlds here, gas giants all the way from about this point to the right, and then asteroids typically are right over here. Yeah. Anyways, good luck with your exploration, and uh, thanks for watching.